Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Stewing 33 Plays, a little bit of Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. My name is Stewing 33, and today, ladies and gentlemen, we're hopefully going to make it into the top 10. That's my hope at any rate. I mean, I have not had very good luck lately um, playing Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. I keep getting, like, just messed up so badly by, like, a thousand different things, and, like, I, you know, get a little frustrated. A little frustrated. Think I'm gonna need to call Eric in so we can play some duos. Hopefully clear up my, some of my blind, unfettered rage at this game for a little while. But, uh, you know, it, it, that's not fair to the game. It's not the game's fault that I keep getting iced like a fucking idiot. Um, like, it's like stupid things. Like, I'll get in my car, and then, like, I'll get shot immediately in the side of the head and die. With it, because I didn't check the surrounding area before I got in my fucking car, because I'm an idiot. Like, the problem is that I, you know, it's like Dark Souls, right? I'm getting frustrated because I know it's my fault, and I want to blame the game, but it's not the game's fault that I'm stupid. Ugh, can't aim. Really gotta, I gotta work on my aim. Let's, uh, let's turn my, my fucking, let's turn my, what's it called? Mouse sensitivity down. Way down. Yeah, way the hell down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're gonna aim way better now. It's gonna be huge. We're also not gonna be able to, like, look around <laughs> at all. But, you know, that's fine. We're going, si let's go spicy. Let's do it. Let's fucking go. Let's go. I don't even care. I'm like, I'm like actually fed up with like trying to be play safe and then getting immediately roasted by people I can't see from like 18 miles away when they're killing me with the iron sights of a fucking scar. Like, mm, mm, mm. And yeah, not great. Not happy about that at all. I'll tell you that for free. I do not like getting roasted by people I can't see. It happens a lot in, like, Overwatch and stuff. And, like, in Overwatch, I'm less mad because, like... Well, then, you know, it's just part of the game, right? Like, I just come back to life in, like, 30 seconds and it's fine. But, like, in this one, like, getting roasted by somebody I can't see from, like, 18 miles away... Like, actually actively ruins my game. You know what? Let's not go that way. Pick this up, please. Well, this is this was a this was a bad choice. We got a crowbar. All right, I've got a handgun. We're good. We're good. Now we need a better gun. But we're we're out of like we're out of like the like we're going to die in like 10 seconds range now. Now if I just play smart and cautious, we should be okay. Yes, I will take your pan. Thank you. All right.
Everyone be cool. <clears throat> All right. So, so far, so good. Calm play seems to be working out just fine. Taking down my, uh, my look sensitive or my mouse sensitivity seems to have helped out tremendously as well. Learning to combine cowardice with actually shooting people seems to also be helping. I will admit the only problem with my reduce my mouse sensitivity strategy is that it is making my hand cramp slightly. The crash grenade. The stun grenades sometimes cause the game to crash. That's why I'm calling them that, by the way. Crossbow, huh? The crossbow, much like the car, will only be used for long-distance combat. As long as we're inside a building, we will use the UMP for now. The UMP is very good. It's actually a very, very good gun. It's, I don't like it as much as the vector, but that's a preference thing, not a... Uh, yeah, that's, a, that's all preference. Because the Vector's got issues. Like, it can only ever have 25 bullets. And the fact that, like, it has to... It's reload animation slightly longer than the UMPs and a couple other ones. But, um, it does more damage and it shoots faster. Um, so its DPS is higher. Which is really good. So I, uh, that guy who had no shoes on reminded me that shoes make noise. I know that sounds stupid, but wearing shoes makes you make more noise than not wearing shoes. And there's no penalty for not wearing shoes. So under no circumstances should you ever wear shoes. Where are we going? I'm trying to decide. Where is the circle? The circle is going to be across the bridges. So we need to go that way. Um, I don't like taking the hill anymore because every time I take, every time I've taken the hill, in the last like six or seven games I've played, uh, I've gotten roasted by somebody who just like is walking up the hill. Oh, I see them. Yeah, I see you up there. Douche. All right, we gotta turn this up a little bit so I can look around a little bit better without cramping my hand. All right, just keep running. All right, we escaped the guy in the radio tower who was trying to kill us, which is great. Now we're in the crates, which is less great, but still fine. Thank God my guy can run at fucking full sprint with no shoes on in the middle of this garbage. God forbid that he, you know, 
is human and perhaps can't wa run on gravel at full pace. Easy does it. Oh, that's not good. If you listen carefully, you can actually hear the difference in on my footstep sounds from when I have shoes on versus when I don't have shoes on. Nothing useful. Shotgun. Nothing useful. Level 2 helmet. Highly useful. Looking for sights that people didn't want. Backpack level 3 that somebody missed, apparently. I must have killed that guy and then failed. The only explanation that makes sense to me right now. I don't want to go towards Billboard if I can avoid it. So let's go out and around. And thank God that guy that shot at us from the radio tower had worse aim than I did. Because, uh... It took me a minute to find him. Like, I, I didn't know where he was shooting at us from, and I was running in, like, a straight line away from him. And, uh, yeah, that was, uh, that's half half the battle in this game is, is figuring out where the fuck you're being shot from. So once you figure that out, you're good. And the wet slapping noise of my feet. I guess it's a meaty slapping noise, not a wet slapping noise. Right. Let's actually get out of here now. We don't have to go very far to be safe, but we should definitely do so. I can see a dune buggy. I kind of want to go grab it, but last time I went to go get that car over there, I got roasted by like six people who are all going to get that car over there. But it might be my best shot at survival right now. So let's do it. Fuck it. YOLO. Let's get into it. Mostly because the blue's coming. And I know, I know I don't have to go very far, but I want a car for when I have to eventually move again. Get in the buggy. Get in the buggy. Get in the buggy. Get in the buggy. Nope, drive away. Drive away, ignore the shots. Later, nerd. Alright, now we just need to survive crossing the bridge. We're good to go. Alright, now the other thing we gotta be careful of is I saw this thing on Reddit where people were using cars to batter and ram people so they would roll over and die. So what we gotta be careful of is that. Oh, we've been hit. Somebody's shooting at us. Yep, they're shooting at us. Yeah, boys. In and out like lightning. Let's get the fuck out of here. Woo! All right. Well, this has been very exciting so far. <laughs> Very exciting so far. 
hopefully you will live long enough to make it more exciting. That's my that's my goal. Right. Gotta find a place to live for a little while here. I'm thinking that these houses up here might be good candidates, assuming they're not people in them. If there are people in them, we will go inside and kill them, hopefully. Door's not open could mean anything. Could mean that there's nobody here. Uh, or that they came in through the back door. It came here, came in, got their stuff, and got out. There's somebody in our building with us. We're going to hang out right here. His own smoke killed him. Just saying. Smoke, man. Smoking kills. Not enough space. I don't need this many first aid kits. I hear somebody. I thought I heard somebody.
guy had a fully stacked M416. Jesus Christ. I was gonna say, I was like, how many people are gonna drive up to here, and how many people am I gonna roast inside of this house? <laughs> Alright. That was a little harrowing, but we got him. This UMP is uh, my new best friend in the whole world. Yeah, we're going to hang out here for a little bit while I catch my nerves a little. It's also safe, so, like, you know, if we keep getting the circle, we're going to be pretty good for a little while here. I hate these fucking windows. So you can't shoot these bars out. They are there forever, and they block bullets, so it makes this house very safe, but it also makes it impossible to shoot outside of. You know what? I'm going to keep that door closed. I don't really like the idea of, like, huddling in a corner and doing nothing, but, um, I hope you guys will forgive me for perhaps not wanting to die. Do I want to switch the car out for the UMP? Potentially. I mean, I don't have a site for it. You know what? Yeah, no, that's a terrible idea. We don't have a site for it. It's just, it's just dead space at this point. The 2x is not great. Yeah, I don't know why he thought throwing a smoke grenade inside was a good idea. But, uh, it was not, for the record. If you were curious about how that shook out, throwing a smoke grenade indoors was not a good idea. It ended up killing him. I'm actually... Convinced it ended up killing him, because he should have killed me. Uh, our UMP does less damage than his M416. It just, it just does. Like, it's the numbers thing. Um, I had the jump on him, but he uh, he had a better gun. I th I'm pretty sure if he had assaulted my position first, I'd have died. If he, if I had, since I assaulted his position first, he died. But yeah, I saw what that looked like. It was a, that was a nightmare to see through. From his perspective, like, I couldn't see even this far. The nice part about having a silencer is that I can take pot shots at people and not alert them to my presence. Alright, we're gonna have to move soon. But we'll wait, we'll, we'll wait for the, um, the blue to come. And we will try to shoot people. As they pass by. Because we've got, we've got a little bit of time. It's not going to take us very long to get to the safe zone from here. We are going to have to go up this hill, which is going to be a nightmare. You know, with the whole, there's no cover and it's a hill. So somebody could, like, crest to the top, the top of the hill and, like, shoot us while we're cr trying to climb the hill. I, I don't like hills in this game. But there's a bunch of shots. So you see, like, like, those shots are all coming from over there, which means that somebody's chilling out over there somewhere and icing people as they try to crest the hill. 
games. That's that's my assumption. Let's go. We're going to be in trouble. I might be saying stuff. Hey, Stealing, what's your plan? Take painkillers, heal ourselves, and then keep running. Maybe take one of these Uazes out. Slash, absolutely take one of these Uazes out. Did a lot of damage from the gas there, but that's okay. The important thing is that we're alive. At all. You know what? I don't need to take that. I don't know where the people are. got to creep in a little bit. We're going to do it tree to tree. Cuz we can't we can't survive another trip in the gas, I think. I don't know if it's cumulative damage. I know it gets worse as the game goes on. Like towards the start of the game you can survive for like a couple minutes in the gas with no problem. But, like, towards the end of the game, if you're in the gas for, like, 30 seconds, you die. I see this guy. Don't worry. Serpentine a little bit. Get behind this rock. Crouch. Heal. Not with that. Oh, that guy's dead. Somebody killed him. Okay. Okay, easy does it. I think I see a guy over there. You see him? I think I see him. He's like on the top of the hill right there. You see him? Oh, that's a smoke grenade. I just...
Oh, damn it. Damn it. Oh, I fucked it up. I fucked it up. Ah, shit. Well, that guy's dead, so whatever. We got top five, top ten. We made top five. I'm going to count that. I feel pretty good about that, but that's going to do it for this episode. So thank you all so much for watching. If you guys like what you saw, let me know. If you guys want to see more, to be subscribed to keep up to date on when I post more videos. And if you really like what you saw, leave a like. Helps the channel grow. Helps me out a great deal. But of course, with that, thank you all so much for watching. I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye!